Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will be diving into the world of AWS RDS, which is your relational database service. So in this particular session, we will be looking at top 10 AWS RDS uh, interview questions that you can expect. So whether you are gearing up for an interview or you're just eager to expand your knowledge on uh, managed databases, then you are in the right place. So starting off the session, so the first question we have is, what is AWS RDS? So one of the very basic questions that you can expect. So RDS, it stands for Relational Database Service, and it's one of the managed uh, database service that you have in AWS. And this service, it simplifies your database setup, operation, and the scale, scaling of your database as well. So, you know, um, uh, with this service, you can quickly set up a database and you can start uh, using that with your application. So it's a fully managed uh, database which is provided by AWS. Now RDS it supports uh, various database engines. So you have MySQL, you have PostgreSQL, Oracle, uh, SQL Server, MariaDB that you can choose from. So whenever you are launching or when you are creating your database, you get to choose uh, which engine you want so you have the aurora which is amazon's own uh, database you have mysql mariadb postgresql oracle microsoft sql server and now they've also started supporting the ibm db2 so you can choose uh, any of the database engine uh, when you're creating your database moving on to the next question so how does aws rds handle the backups uh, when you're creating this database so when we talk about your AWS RDS backups, essentially there are two types of backups. We have the automated backups and then we have the manual backups. So these automated backups are enabled by default and manual backups are user initiated. So the automated backups, it takes daily full backups and also captures the transaction logs, which helps you with point in time recovery. So whenever you are launching your database, so let's I'll go with the MySQL and if you scroll down uh, you should be able to see that your uh, um, automated backups are enabled by default so let me see let me find that option um it should be somewhere uh, just trying to find the option uh that that's not the one okay i think it should be over here so here you can see this enable automated backup. So this is enabled by default and you can also define uh, the window when you want the backups to be taken. You can define the retention period. Maximum you can maintain these backups for uh, 35 days. And then you have the manual backups which are user initiated. So once you're done creating the database here, you should be able to see these snapshots. And here you can click on take snapshot. So what are the snapshots that you'll take from here? These are user initiated. You will be creating these uh, backups. So you can also create your uh, uh, snapshots, your database backups manually, which is your manual backup. So we have two ways that you can create. The next question we have is, can you change the DB instance class of a running uh, RDS instance? You have launched an RDS instance with uh, with a uh, with a capacity an instance type let's say t dot micro now can you change that so yes you can uh, change it so you can modify the uh, db instance class of your running db um, instance to scale it vertically so if you need more cpu if you need more memory or if you need more storage capacity you can go ahead and you can go ahead and change the uh, storage class the instance type Basically, so here, at any, you know, at any point when you're launching this database, you'll be selecting an instance type. Now, once you're done launching this database and if you want to increase the capacity, you can go ahead and do that. So when uh, you have that option as well. The next question we have is what is multi-AZ deployment in RDS? Now, if you want to make your database highly available, if you want to make it fault tolerant, that's where we make use of your multi-AZ. So it's a feature which helps you to uh, replicate your database. Under this, you'll have a primary database and a standby database. And these database will be running in a separate availability zone. So for example, let's say in US East 1A, you'll have your primary instance, the primary database, and then in a separate availability zone, you'll have your standby instance. So if you want to have this 
primary secondary setup that's where you can go with your uh, multi az deployment now the advantage of this is that if the primary instance fails the traffic will automatically switch to the standby instance so you'll be enabling this when you are launching your database here you can see the availability and durability so you have the multi az db cluster you have multi az db instance and then single db instance now with the cluster you get a primary db instance and two readable standby instances so it basically will have three databases with the multi az db instance you'll have one primary and one standby and they will be in different availability zones and then single db is having only one database with no standby databases so that's basically what your multi az deployment is the next question we have is how is data encrypted in aws rds so rds supports your encryption and for this we can make use of this service which is your key management service so again when you are launching your uh, database you have the option to specify whether you want to encrypt your uh, database or uh, not so let me see over here and here you can see this encryption so you can enable the encryption and you can specify your key and for this we make use of your service which is your kms service so kms it stands for key management service so you can enable encryption when you are creating a new db instance like in this case or you can uh, if you have an existing db instance then you need to first create a snapshot and then restore that snapshot basically launch a new db with encryption so there's a workaround there are uh, two options so you can either enable the encryption when you're launching the db or after you launch the db if you want to enable the encryption you can do that also the next question we have is what is the purpose of read replicas in rds now if you want to improve the performance of your database that's where we make use of your read replicas so read replicas are mainly used when you want to increase or you want to improve your read scalability so if you want to make improve the performance of your database that's where we make use of this now these are your read only copies of your primary database and this can be used when you have a very read heavy uh, uh, application when the workload is very read heavy that's where you can make use of your uh, read replicas now this will help you to offload the traffic or reduce the load on the primary instance all right so this uh, you can you can make you can create your read replicas after you have launched your uh, database so i don't have a database but uh, if you have a database and if you select it this actions button will be enabled and under the actions you should be able to see the create read replica option which is nothing but a read only copy of your primary database the next question we have is how can you monitor your rds performance now in aws whenever we talk about monitoring cloudwatch is the service that we have so here also uh, we will be making use of your cloudwatch service to uh, monitor the performance of your rds so rds it has integration with your amazon cloudwatch metrics for monitoring the db performance in addition to that you can also enable your enhanced monitoring so with cloudwatch you get two types of monitoring which is your basic and detailed monitoring that's your enhanced monitoring so you can enable the enhanced monitoring as well and you can also uh, look at your database logs for more detailed analysis so again when you are creating the database uh, you will be specifying whether you want the basic monitoring or uh, you want the uh, detailed monitoring so you have the uh, performance insights this is where you can enable the enhanced monitoring but remember you'll have to pay extra money for this and uh, your your cloudwatch will start cap capturing the performance of your database like the load the network the cpu utilization and all those metrics will be captured the next question we have is can you install custom softwares on an rds instance now we cannot install any custom softwares on this um, rds instance because it's a uh, managed service so we cannot install any custom softwares on these databases because it's an aws managed service so we will have to use only the software provided by aws and which are supported by the database engine so we cannot use anything uh, which is not supported or which is not provided by aws so we cannot make use of any custom softwares on this uh, uh, on top of this database 
the next question we have is what is the purpose of uh, parameter groups in rds now parameter groups are used when you want to customize your uh, uh, database so you know you won't have any customized settings for your database you can make use of the parameter group so you can uh, make use of these parameters to uh, tune the performance of your database or to enable certain features or to just adjust the behavior according to your specific requirements that's where we can uh, make use of your uh, parameter group so parameters are simply your parameters for the database the engine that you've selected for that you can define the parameters by making use of these parameter groups the next question we have is how can you scale the storage capacity of an rds instance now if you want to scale up or you want to increase the storage capacity of an rds instance then you'll have to modify the storage settings of that particular database now this can be done either during the initial instance creation when you're creating the database or by modifying if you have an existing db instance then you'll have to modify the uh, settings of the existing db instance and again if you are you know creating this database for the first time you can uh, specify the storage how much of uh, storage you want so here you can see the allocated storage now uh, once you're done launching this database if you want more capacity then you'll have to modify again uh, here if you have the databases under actions so, or sorry here you can see the modify you can use this to uh, increase or scale up the storage capacity of your database so there you have it that's your quick tour through some uh, common aws rds into questions that you can expect now uh, remember mastering aws rds it isn't just about uh, acing your interviews it's about uh, understanding the power of this managed databases uh, if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more aws content and uh, don't forget to hit the bell to stay in the loop uh, if you have any specific AWS topics that you'd like me to explore next, drop your suggestions in the comments. Until next time, happy learning.